from one lounge suit into the next. The coat and the heels just makes the fact that I'm wearing trackies absolutely disappear. I can take myself dancing. Pretense that our life is all zen and mean yoga, but in reality, it isn't. Okay, this is not a flattering angle, but how, how can it be with, with no makeup on? And it being about almost 7 o'clock on a Thursday evening, I have just lost track of time. It has been a week. I have had perpetually sick children, but what's new there? And I am off for a bit of respite with a mum's yoga night that I was invited to by my son's school, actually. So very excited to be attending something that isn't anything to do with laundry, scrubbing floors, or tending to the sick and needy. Not that I don't love my role as a mother, but sometimes I do need a break from it. Typically out of time, this is my official yoga outfit. I've only done yoga once, and that was back when I was quite, uh, gee, my early 20s actually, and I just remember it involved about five minutes too long of meditation, and I ended up in a stitch full of laughter. I just, I just, I couldn't and still to this day do not get me to sit still for five minutes because it's just a waste of time frankly. I do say that in jest people but when you're as busy <laughs> as we all know that we are, five minutes of doing nothing does seem like, you know, anyway I'll let you fill in the blanks. This little set is from H&M and what drew me to this was the colour actually because it's a beautiful sage green which is quite rare to find in uh, active wear, especially cheap active wear because I like to go for extreme colours and patterns which I tend to steer away from and it is a very cold evening so I thought I'll pop on my new Air Athletics oversized sweater and yes one could argue this could be a little bit of a Kermit the Frog look but I feel comfortable, I'm blending with my surroundings, I'm in camo and I must say, this is the first time I've worn this set despite the fact that I actually bought it, well, quite quite some time ago. I'll reference the H&M short here, but super comfortable uh, waistband. It's supportive and yet not so supportive that it digs in or anything like that, so I do like a forgiving waistband that doesn't kind of cut you off anywhere and just allows that circulation. So I'm off to yoga, won't be capturing any footage because that is just personal and mums do need their nights off so I will catch up with you soon but just thought I'd share with you my little yoga outfit I hope this is appropriate I don't do yoga let me know in the comments if you do is this is this what we do go that's it work those glutes <laughs> very good Baba it is hard isn't it <laughs> I'm going to pretend that this gun doesn't taste like the contents of our freezer. Hi guys. I apologize in advance for the intro, but some days it'd be like that. And this just happens to be one of those days I prepared myself my new favorite herbal tea. I'm turning into a different person. I didn't even drink herbal tea, but I went to yoga on a random whim with a bunch of girls and with a bunch of mums I should say and all of a sudden now I meditate and drink herbal tea. This is just my pathetic attempt to try to calm down. I'm just having one of those, I shouldn't be in this position. This is just meant to be a Zara haul and all I wanted to serve you was a Zara haul because who needs to care? Who needs to care and share about other people?
nobody. You don't owe me, I don't owe you. Anyway. Okay, there really must be something to this emotional eating business because I must admit, I'm starting to feel better. A note for next time, inhaling scones makes me feel good. And so does being creative. So basically I'm just, I think I've pent up frustration like most of us mums out there, just pent up. We dedicate our lives to putting everyone else first. Then one day a week for a third of a day, so I'm talking a couple of hours perhaps two hours to three hours. I allow myself to wash my hair once a week. I allow myself to play around with a bit of makeup once a week. I allow myself to be creative once a week and create some content. This helps me remain stable. This helps me feel accomplished. This helps me retain a piece of myself. And there are those out there that want to strip that and bring me down. <coughs> and I think I'm battling probably more of an internal battle rather than an external battle. Well, there are external factors, but I need to stay true to myself and remember that you do you because no one, no one will do you except for you. No one will put you first except for you. No one will understand you except for you. I know a lot of us like to lean on other people for emotional support and advice, and that's very healthy. It's good to, good to share with the right people, of course, but nobody can do you like you can and that is far far too much for a Zara haul. This is interesting I I'm going to leave the house for a little bit and uh, I'm gonna meet up with some family and we're gonna do a little bit of uh, shopping. I'm gonna take the little one with me. This is all gonna happen very quickly because <coughs> I have to get on with the day. Now I have spotted a few things from walking by in Zara the other day that I think I might want to pick up, but I didn't get a chance to try them on. So I'm going to go do that and I'm going to preempt that this will be a Zara haul. So let's see what I have seen window shopping lives up to its potential. I felt like I just needed to step out for a little bit. There's, <laughs> you know me, I say shopping is better than therapy and honestly there isn't. Sometimes you do need that band-aid, just a band-aid to just perk you up like this scone that I've sufficiently polished off and this herbal tea sometimes you just need a band-aid to make your troubles disappear for a little bit to pretend they're not there and look I will be the first one to put my hand up and say I'm grateful I'm blessed and I'm in no way complaining I think I'm just expressing myself and this is my space to do that anyway I did want to stop in at Zara and that's why I'm preempting I mean you never know perhaps I may not find anything but I'm preempting a little a little Zara haul I don't shop there very often in fact I probably go in store once a year and online I have no presence there because their website is just far too hard to navigate the whole setup just doesn't make sense to me anyway going to step out to the shops see what we can find take you along with me if you're feeling down as well and just want to see some pretty lights and sparkle sparkles to distract you then i need to glow up get this hair washed because one day a week i also allow myself to wash my hair and practice personal good hygiene and we will sit down back here and hopefully do something really really trivial which is opening parcels trying things on and picking ourselves up off the floor. I apologize for oversharing. You didn't ask this, all you asked for was a Zara haul. The really sad part about all this is that my yoga experience was truly amazing. I felt like I was in a safe place and I maybe have felt like I haven't been in a safe place or maybe um, I'm talking about a place of complete calm for quite some time and to seek that out in our everyday lives is very very difficult unless i think you remove yourself from your environment and literally put yourself in a class full of randoms and zone out not in a position to actually go and practice this regularly so it's going to be a one-off experience for me unfortunately but i'd love to try and incorporate some zen into my life is what i mainly took away from last night but it was such a wonderful experience not only were my muscles well stretched we did yin yoga the h&m active wear was super comfortable and it was actually quite nice and thick for a little bit of a chilly schoolroom haul so that was absolutely perfect the sad part is is that when i came home not everyone i guess was vibing the same vibe that i had just come off on even though i was only gone for an hour and a half <laughs> Uh, which I was grateful for but um, not everyone was vibing my mood which is fine I'm very used to that and then basically just the reality hit of 
this is this is life and you can fall under this wonderful pretense that our life is all zen and yin yoga but in reality it isn't but anyway so what i'm trying to regain today is that sense of peace and calm by distracting myself basically and taking you along for my distractions so i thank you in advance for indulging my distraction but this face and this hair is not acceptable to be on camera so i'm going to go fix myself up get out of the house come back feeling better and refreshed and deliver what hopefully will be a very primo primo flower haul Okay, we're halfway there from the state of me, maybe one tenth of the way there, but my, my hair is clean. We have uh, come back with the goodies now to get in character. Goodness gracious, thumbnails are exhausting. I'm just not in the state of mind to put on a face right now and pose in front of a camera. Talking, however, I have many things to say and yet also nothing. But I can say that I am feeling a lot better than I previously was. A little bit of retail therapy, guys. Highly recommend. So it turns out the things that I had my eye on at Zara were actually the perfect perfect fit for me not only that but also I stumbled across some things that I wasn't expecting to see or like that ended up being also perfect for me picked up a few wardrobe staples again I know I've previously just done a haul on wardrobe basics but when it's this miserable wintry time of year you basically live in fleeces and loungewear and to be quite honest I've fallen in love with wearing matching sets anything that I can simplify in my complicated life and anything that's matching already for me how can I put this eloquently lazy girl dressing that is absolutely up my street and any busy mum should follow suit so we have a bit of black and we have a garbage truck. My wardrobe has been calling out for, for years for some black loungewear. I have black formal wear, but I don't really have any black lounge suits. And I came across this little matching tracksuit set. And what actually drew me to this is not the color, to be honest. It was actually the fact that the high waistedness of the track pant and I guess the low crutch was quite flattering on the leg. I'm not sure if any of you have trouble like crutch trouble with track pants but I often find that they sit really unflatteringly on the legs so when I see a pair of track pants that actually make my legs look like actual legs I grab them. So 
also picked up the matching black fleece. Yes, we have some more loungewear, but this time in a bone color. And this one comes with a bit of detail. So it has this nice seam to the front to draw the eye in. And this is also rather cropped. Tried this on with the matching track pants. Not expecting, okay, this bag is giving me grief now. Not expecting that these track pants would be flattering, but again, because of the placement of the high-waisted band and the low crotch, it just worked. Now, while I have your attention, or I may have lost it, who knows, I do have some other Zara bits, not from today, but ones that I have been saving up for such an occasion where Zara is the theme of this video. Let me just go grab them. Oh, here she is. For those of you who have followed my videos, you would have seen this bag already featured, but this is also another Zara find. In fact, I think this is the star of the show, to be quite honest. Oh, hello, love. You scared me. Oh. No, it's not scary. You can come in, honey. You can come in. I know. <laughs> I'm quite willing to accept interruptions at the moment. I've had my I've had my time and now I can work with it. So anyway. Let's get back to the bag. This Zara bag with the embellished handle. I've already spoken about this. I don't think any more needs to be said about how fabulous this bag is and everyone needs this in their wardrobe and a random find now i have always wanted a black coat or a black jacket but always too afraid that it's going to be covered in hair and dust and i really hate having to look after no your cutie pie are you wearing your brother's top you're wearing your brother's top here you go down here what have we got down here Oh, I know. Yeah, you're right. Okay. I've always steered away from black coats because of the fact that, yes, anything that you get on there will be very much highlighted. But I was willing to take the plunge for this particular black coat. This is a three-quarter length or like a Mac coat, so it's not long. It comes just under the bottom. And I love the military kind of style of this jacket because it comes with these beautiful embellished gold buttons. I'm going to quickly try on these pieces for you and take you through how I would style them and just share my thoughts on how we can wear our loungewear within the home and also jazz it up to wear it outside of the house as well. Because loungewear does not always mean it has to be boring. From one lounge suit into the next. This is the black two-piece tracksuit. Now I know what you're all thinking. We have been steering clear of matching tracksuits since Kappa and Reebok were a thing back in our day. You know, back in the 90s, 2000s. Uh, I have not worn a matching tracksuit, I don't think, ever. I've never, even as a child, never had a matching tracksuit. And look at me now. I am embedding myself in my childhood that I never had. A bit profound. For a track pant. Anyway, let me tell you or explain why I thought these were flattering. Now, often track pants, what happens in uh, this area is they just don't, they just don't sit quite right. It's the length, again, the length of the crotch or the positioning of the elastic. They just don't stay where they're meant to be, and you end up with a quite disrupted area. Now, what makes this work in this tracksuit is that it is black and black hides clearly you can't even see the shadows are hiding and concealing any creasing that may be happening which is wonderful they also finish at a nice place on the ankle for reference i'm five four i think and having that little bit of ankle just lengthens the leg a little bit so just paired it with a casual pair of cabin molded slides these are from cotton on and they sell these regularly so i'll link everything down below this jumper is also quite cropped but not cropped enough that i have to show any midriff and what i've done is just tuck it in at the side as what happens here another attribute to the high-waisted track pant is it makes your legs look a bit longer see so done all the little hacks now this is how i would wear this casually down the street to the shops to a friend's place around family this is the perfect everyday outfit look just a few simple chains and you're pretty much good to go basically anywhere except perhaps out to dinner so i'm going to show you how if one cannot be bothered such as busy mums like us and you need to quickly transform yourself 
this is what I would do. If Ken K has taught us one thing is that you can make any tracksuit not look like a tracksuit with a pair of ankle boots. I've actually never worn this look out officially, but I wouldn't say that I wouldn't. It kind of makes sense. But we do say if we were going out to something a little bit more formal, wanted to conceal the fact that we were super, super comfortable underneath all our clothing is. Throw on a little coat such as this to hide the sins. The only sin here being the fact that I am terribly, terribly comfortable. And what I loved about this coat is that it's not quite an all black because we do have the nice pop of colour from the embellished gold buttons. And then what we would do is add a little something unexpected and interesting, which is this handbag. And I know it is a bit challenging to see because I am wearing an all black outfit, but the flowers just add a nice touch of femininity to what is actually quite a masculine military outfit. But this is option two if you feel like wearing your tracksuit out of the house. We can all totally, totally get away with this. Now, the second landwear set might be a little bit more of a challenge because I feel that because this, this is evidently cropped, it is a little bit more, I'd say, challenging to get this away with wearing it outside of the house and passing it off as not loungewear. This is a nice little challenge for me, actually. Anyway. Once again, really flattering on the leg because they are wide leg track pants. Also really love the high neck of the sweater as I think this adds a real chicness to this look. It's not just your ordinary oversized tracksuit. It has a bit of tailoring to it. So whenever I'm wearing loungewear, I always love to emphasize the waist as you can get quite baggy and oversized. And this is just a really chic way to look put together whilst running your errands. Paired it with my latest wardrobe stable, which is the Sherling slide. And this is quite acceptable to run around the neighborhood in. Now, if I were to dress this up, hmm, like I needed any more challenges today. Let me just, let me just test a little theory here. Let's see if we can get away with stuffing these tracksuits into some knee-high boots. Okay, I don't think um, Kim K could have gotten away with this either. Okay, I think I found a solution. We have found a suitable pair of heels. Now, I could have gone for a, a beige or a nude heel. However, I wanted to go for something a little bit more bold. These are a bit of a find from Country Road. And what I didn't realize, something drew me to them. The fact that they were like a deep brown was the fact that they, <laughs> they caught my eye. And I wasn't quite taken by the fact it had like a gold tip to the heel. I wasn't quite sure about that. But then I did think it was quite a nice play on the concept of the Chanel flat which is separating the toe of the shoe from the body of the foot to make the foot look longer and what I didn't realize is this is a pretty much direct copy of a Louis Vuitton shoe had no clue until I was watching one of my girlies online and wow there you are just naturally born good taste I guess anyway if we wanted to hide the fact that this outfit was landwear I was thinking of course the tried and true tradition of slapping over a coat and that ladies and gentlemen let me just take care of the such a perfectionist <laughs> that ladies and gentlemen seems to take care of the fact that I am actually wearing loungewear I could just be wearing a very chic little two-piece suit and the coat and the heels just makes the fact that I'm wearing trackies absolutely disappear oh my goodness one thing I've just realized this coat is also from Zara but this is quite an old coat from a few years ago so if there is one around similar I will link it below what I liked about it was that it was like a teddy coat but not so fluffy as I think that can really casual down a look so this is just a happy medium it's got a little bit of fluff but not in a in a sheep way it's not giving sheep it's giving it's giving a sheared sheep is what it is and to complete the whole look I thought a little brown bag would go perfectly. I've got this canvas and brown coach bag here, which they don't make it with the emblem anymore, I don't believe. If I can find it, I will link this down below. 
And this strap actually doesn't belong with this bag. I actually stole it from another bag that I have and wore this to a wedding. But the gold chain and the gold accessories actually tie in with the gold point on the shoe. And we have here just a complete 180 on what is meant to be a cropped tracksuit. And that, my lovelies, is the end of the Zara haul. And one that I'm actually quite pleased with because I just thought I went in for a pair of track pants. I swear Zara just saw me coming. I'm actually surprised myself and how versatile they can be. We don't just have to wear them out of the house. We can glam them up just like Kim K does, throw in a pair of heels and a pair of ankle boots and go out and live our best lives. Whoever says the Kardashians have taught us nothing are seriously disturbed. Only joking there, folks. I am off now. Thank you for digressing with me, for healing with me, for retail therapy, shopping with me and hoping we are all well on the other side of the lens and um, hoping to see you very soon in a better mood and a better place. A little life lesson I think from this is that I've kind of identified what I've been doing that's been putting me on edge. I've been tiptoeing. I tiptoe around everybody and what everybody thinks and what everybody wants and what everybody else feels. Um, however, I don't think anyone tiptoes around me and that's fine. I don't want anyone to tiptoe around me but living your life on an eggshell, being afraid of judgment um, is, n is not a way to live. It's being locked up and um, being what you end up being choked up. So I, I don't want to live choked up anymore. I think I need to just embrace the fact that not all of us are the same and that is okay. We're all different and that is a beautiful thing. And that is the end of the DMs for this, what is meant to be just a very trivial, trivial video. Oh, and another thing that I've learned, do some yoga and drink some herbal tea. It does wonders. Turns out there are things other than shopping that make me feel better. So thank you all. All outfit links will be down below where possible and please like and please subscribe because we do need those subscriptions to keep the channel growing and flowing and adios machachos. Mm -hmm.